Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. I needed that so badly right now. Boy, I'll tell you what. Look at these gray clouds. But, hey, I'm seeing a lot of buds coming in, and I think we're going to get all filled up with leaves really, really soon. So looking forward to that. It is really something else. Well, guys, reading a really wild article today about geofencing and how, with all these 15-minute cities and all this kind of stuff, that they're trying to actually really just track the movements of a majority of people all the time. And in fact, the way in which it's being presented is that these 15-minute cities that they're coming out with, initially it's, oh, well, you know, we're wanting to do this to reduce the carbon footprint in the environment, but really it has to do more with the tracking and control of populations and people and that type of thing. And they believe that this is a much easier way to manage the population. It is really something else. And I'll tell you what, if I was living in one of these jurisdictions that had these 15-minute cities, I mean, I don't know where the legality is coming from when you think of all the legislation to protect the freedom of movement, the freedom of choice and all this kind of stuff. And yet you're only getting like a pass in some of these places you can travel maybe a hundred times without having to pay a big fee. So they could say, hey, look, we're not going to take your liberty away, but what we're going to do is we're just going to tax your movements. So if you want to go across town, well, you get a hundred free shots of doing that. But after that, well, there's a big fee to be paid, kind of like your toll roads and stuff like that, except the tolls will be so high and exorbitant that most people aren't going to want to do it too often. And in this capacity, that's how they take away your liberty of movement and controlling all these various population groups. It is absolutely insane. And when you think about that, ask yourself, what is the major necessity for all these 15-minute cities? Is it really necessary to do this to protect the planet? Absolutely not. Guys, it's total hogwash. And it has nothing to, to do with being a responsible global citizen, that's for sure. It has more to do with the elites being able to actually put people and in, into these various places. And look, what about the statistical data that they're going to be able to get on that? Because I'll tell you what, in Canada, with when they do out those census, you know, there's one that's voluntary, but then there's this involuntary census that you have to fill out. And if you don't, you can face major fines and even prison time for not doing it. Do you think that in these 15 minute cities that they're not going to be able to gather such huge amounts of statistical information and use it in a way to actually, you know, craft and mold the society that all these big guys want? And look, that's where they're trying to take away private ownership of vehicles and all this kind of stuff. It's an agenda. And all you have to do to actually fact check that is go to the WEF's website and read up on this whole thing. And you'll find out in a heartbeat, this has nothing to do with just with, you know, being a good global. It has all to do with this whole control mechanism that they want in place and to really kind of like dictate how we spend our money where we actually get to go. How many restaurants do you think that's gonna include in a 15 minute city? What if your favorite restaurant just happens to be on the opposite side of town? Well, I guess you're only going there so many times a year, aren't you? And on and on and on, and this is what's being proposed. And what they're talking about is using surveillance and geofencing to actually you know, enforce it. And in China, they're literally using facial recognition for people that are wanting to go from one area over to the other area with gates that they have to walk through with facial recognition. And I pray to high heavens that that does not come over here to this side of the pond or even in Europe because that kind of control, guys, who wants to live under an authoritative system like that? It almost feels like they're setting us up with zones like in the Hunger Games and all that kind of stuff, you know, different districts and on and on and on. And I'm telling you what, I have absolutely zero 
confidence in the powers that be that are coming up with this kind of stuff to think that that is something that the majority of people are going to want and they're doing it on a slow boil right it's like you know when you're making lobster and put it in there and turn it up in a slow boil type of thing that's what they're doing and they're and they're literally conditioning us to actually believe this is something good it is truly mind-boggling i'll tell you what well anyway guys it's going to be a great Thursday, and I sure hope wherever you are, you're having one. But I'd like to hear your opinions on these 15-minute cities. Just drop that down in the comment section down there. And let me know what your thoughts are. And for those of you that are actually out there, I know there's some in the UK, and I think Canada's coming out with some. If you're in one of these places, let us know how that's working out and what ways have they restricted your movement, or if at all. I'd really like to hear that. So anyways, guys, I sure hope that you have a great one until later on have a, you know, when I have our video come out later on, <laughs> have a great one and take care.